Welcome to the finale of Cyber Up Your PC, a contest where we asked our community members to create the raddest custom Cyberpunk 2077 themed builds. During the first stage of the contest, we received over 1700 entries and selected five designs whose authors later on were teamed up with five professional modding teams. Their task was to bring those designs to life and to share them with everyone during the finale we're having today. These five amazing designs will be fighting for the main prize, an Alienware Aurora PC with a limited NVIDIA GeForce Cyberpunk 2077 edition, along with other awesome gaming peripherals, brought to you by our partners Alienware, NVIDIA and SteelSeries. Cyber Up Your PC is a unique PC modding contest during which we'd like to draw special attention to one of the most precious resources we have so devastated in the cyberpunk universe, our environment. That's why all of the entries will also be rated based on the number of recycled materials used in each build. On top of that, a copy of the winning design will be put on charity auction with the winner of the finale picking which foundation receives the donation. Now it's time to rate the top 5 submissions and pick the winner together with our partners. Pavo could not share his video with us, however he sent over his ratings along with the notes, which I will proceed to read along with other judges. My name is Angus Jones, I'm from Perth, Western Australia. I'm a massive cyberpunk enthusiast and the designer for the PC case mod Bondi's throne. Hi, my name is Tim Timple Manborg and I'm a custom PC designer and case model from Sweden. I've been doing this for quite a while now, building for competitions, exhibitions like Computex, Dreamac and so on. There was a heavy research component which involved me understanding the Cyberpunk 2077 world. The upholstery design for Bondi's throne features a custom voodoo voice pattern which was originally inspired from the gang's logo. The cyber terminals that were shown during the original gameplay footage videos became a key feature that I wanted to have. When I was doing my early designs I was incorporating a lot of recycled materials into the PC case mod, however when I took a step back I saw Bondi's Throne as a way to have the entire piece be a recycled concept. So this was definitely the most creative of the bunch turning an actual chair into a full computer setup. We were super impressed with the work done on this throne. It's amazing to see such an ambitious concept art be brought to life. It's absolutely a Voodoo Boys inspired Netrunner's chair, no doubt about it. The attention to detail was very evident, um, both in terms of recreating a, a PC in the chair form factor, as well as um, borrowing elements from the game in order to bring Bandai's chair to life. And overall, the chair does kind of give the appearance of looking like something you would find in the cyberpunk universe. It's obvious that he spent a lot of time fabricating it. And I also like that it was themed after a specific faction that hasn't gotten a lot of love. This mod used a fair amount of PC parts, starting from reducing an old framework into various components such as foot and armrests, all the way to recycling old laptops as decoration. 9 out of 10 points. Bondi's chair received a final score of 9.4. Bondi's throne gets 8 points from us. I give Bondi's throne an 8 out of 10. Bondi's throne received a total of 8 points from Pavel. Uh, Bondi's throne I'm going to give 3rd from my ranking at, at 8 points out of 10. Hello, my name is Isolo Pakalang. I am 31 years old. I live in Bangkok. Thailand. I am a freelance photographer and graphic designer. Hi, my name is Niklas. And I'm the modder and owner at Forsberg Customs. I put all the love I have for the craft into my work and I hope it shows. Enjoy! The installation for that design, I choose to use Militech Gang by looking at the characters, fashion, the vehicle they drive, the weapons they use. So I choose to use black color as the main area. I think to use carbon fiber surfaces. Materials. So the next one is called the Neo Black, and this one is basically, a, it looks like a full blackout design. This mod definitely has the cyberpunk slash sci-fi genre aesthetic. It looks like it could be a Maelstrom creation for sure. It looks like it has a carbon fiber, maybe vinyl or wrap on the top, or if it's, if it's real fiberglass work or something, then that's extra impressive. I love the artist's interpretation of bringing this contrast of cutting edge and reclaimed old and new 
It's a very solid job. We really liked the reclaimed parts around the outside of the case and the use of carbon fiber that kind of gave it that military feel to it. I uh, just had a, wish it had a little bit more wow factor. This mod uses a lot of old PC parts, two motherboards, nine defective memory sticks, and two old drives. It feels like nearly the entirety of the mod has been done using these. Very nice, nine out of 10. The Neo Black concept received a final score of 7.1. We gave Neo Black six points. I give the Neo, the Neo Black a five out of 10. Neo Black received a total of five points from Pavel. The Neo Black, I'm gonna rank at six. Hi, my name is Kasper and I'm an aspiring concept artist. I'm 26 years old and I'm from Poland. After school, I was hired by a company called Puppets War. We are designing and manufacturing tabletop miniatures and collectibles for hobbyists around the world. Hi, I'm Valentin. I'm Tom. I'm Kaya. And we are Merkmods. Mods. We've been building PC mods since 2015 and we're a close team of international creators based in Norway. There was a key phrase in the rules that goes, in the night city, the rich and the poor live right next to each other. Make this contrast visible in your design. So basic idea was to take military high-tech stuff and combine it with some Mad Max style solutions to display that contrast. So, the whole process of designing I started with extensive research of everything that has been shown on Cyberpunk 2077 until that point. Then I moved to sketching in 2D to explore the ideas around the story. When I had a concept that I was happy with, I took some time and learned a 3D software to make the forms there. After that, I did a simple paint over in Photoshop. I aimed for realistic depiction, always thinking how it's gonna be built later. After I was selected to the top five, the Merco Mods did their magic and made this project a reality. The artist had a very thoughtful approach to what he wanted to do in order to bring Cyberpunk story to life. I love how worn it looks. It really looks like it could have come straight out of the game. It definitely looks like a, a military de device, the case mod they've done. It nicely mixes a clean corporate style with gang mods. Finders Keepers is a very nice mix of a Kang Tao design with an entropism inspired DIY style overlay. The whole aesthetic works with each other from all the weathering on the reclaimed computer parts all around it. It's got sort of legs out to the side of it, almost like it's a, a turret or like a spider bot or something. The use of metal rods and grit that would otherwise rust on a dump somewhere make this mod really stand out. We can also see a very nice example of recycling old electronics such as the old network switch. 8 out of 10 here. Finders Keepers concept received a final score of 8.4. It uh, was an amazing build and we gave it 9 points. I give Finders Keepers a 6 out of 10. Finders Keepers received a total of 7 points from Pavo. Finders Keepers, 6. Hi, my name is uh, Hugo Gomez. I'm 37 years old and have lived in Madrid for the last 8 years working in an art studio as a digital sculptor. Hi, I'm Simone Marino, aka Tech Cave, from the Italian Extreme Models team. And before showing you the project, let me introduce you the rest of the team. Stefano Sciarpelletti, aka Samod. Franco Martinelli, aka Warboy. Umberto Todaro, aka Todd Mod. Fabio Perchiazzi, aka tech for gaming and Massimiliano Parisotto, aka Hardware Numbers. We are huge fans of Akira and when we saw the bike in the Pacifica gameplay, we fell in love uh, with the design. Uh, the Java Kusanagi has some elements which are quite interesting to apply into the Alinguare Aurora. Since the beginning, we wanted to design to be something that we wanted to have in our desk, something that we were willing to throw money at it. Um, a little that I would like to highlight are the stickers. Uh, we, were, we made them with by hand by Angela and me, um, we ho have included a lot of easter eggs uh, replacing the small text of several of them. This is the entry that reflects Cyberpunk's style over substance nature the most. I absolutely loved this one. This one was definitely my favorite. Really reminds me of kind of that Akira vibe. We love the bright colors and body panels that attach to the sides of it that gave it that sort of cyber street bike feel. The damage to the paneling is really well done. It looks like it's maybe taken a few slides on the ground. The red color that they chose is so different from any of the others. It just really, really pops. Very good build quality. 
all elements match up nicely, the paint job is neat and stickers look great too. This is a great reinterpretation and a great effort to bring this motorcycle from the game to life. Here we can see a very nice use of parts from old vehicles. Although those were the only recycled elements used, it's worth noting that the 3D printed elements have been created using biodegradable filament. 7 out of 10 points here. The Yaiba Kusanagi Aura concept received a final score of 9.1. We gave Yaiba 7 points. Uh, definitely my favorite amazing job guys. I give this one a 9 out of 10. Yaiba Kusanagi received a total of 9 points from Pavel. We're going to go with 10 on that as well. Hi, my name is Martin. A few words about me. I'm originally from Tehran, Iran, and I'm a visual effects artist here in Germany. And I think it goes without saying that I'm a huge cyberpunk fan. Hello, my name is Stasek Tizvetarak. I'm a professional model and maker of props. Uh, and stenography for movies. Okay, so for my design, I was heavily inspired by the Militech Flathead robot seen in the 2018 gameplay demo. So the way I approached this design, I knew right off the bat, I wanted to have this cold steel corporate style of the Militech Corporation, and also this aggressive look of the Maelstrom gang. Starting from the Militech aspect, I added thick pieces of metal that would go with big pipes, hard edges of metal, a lot of steel. And for the Maelstrom design aesthetic, I imagine some psycho board got their hands on it and tried to make it their own. So they added these skulls, these crazy writings, these crazy gang signs as well to show that it belongs to them now. And so my ultimate goal was to make this design look really mean and aggressive. This mod instantly brings Cyberpunk 2077 Spiderbot design to mind. It has a grim dystopian cyberpunk look to it, inspired by the psycho gangs of the dark future. Great build quality. Legs and original corporate metal parts are sharp and clean. Really impressive and good work. This is the type of, exactly the type of thing I would expect to find at a trade show, like a major trade show for the industry. Uh, this is so far beyond what I was expecting and it's amazing. Uh, the legs moving is just next level. It was hard enough to build a PC mod, but then to also make moving legs is just absolutely next level and honestly kind of terrifying. You could just tell that they spent a lot of time and thought in it from the design all the way to actually bringing it to life. Uh, what I love about it is um, this creative and very careful combination of what such as corporation, the industrial feel and this element of game. Aside from the typical parts like an old motherboard or cords from a console controller, you can find parts from things like roller blades, industrial heaters, microwave, or an old radio. It even uses old guitar strings. The spirit of the contest has been captured here perfectly. 10 out of 10. The Militech Curved Headbot received a final score of 7.4. Beautiful craftsmanship. Militech Bot gets 9 points from us. I give the Maelstrom mod a 7 out of 10. Militech bot received a total of 8.5 points from Pavo. And I'm going to give the curb head bot 10 points out of 10. And there you have it. It was an insanely close battle between the finalists, but the ultimate winners, leading by less than one point, are Martin and Stasek Tibbs Virtelak. Congratulations, guys. And the winner is. The Militech Corkhead bought Maestro mod. Maestro, 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 well, first of all, I would say all the credit or I mean, all the credit should go to uh, Stajek, if I pronounce his name correctly. We haven't actually talked well, about quite okay. <laughs> Stajek. Yeah, all the credit should go to him because this is like art on another level. The execution was done so perfectly. I couldn't believe that it was like the real case. Thank you to Stajek for this great ex execution. Also, thank, thank you guys. Uh, it's awesome. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Once again, congratulations to the winners and to the finalists. All five mods were amazing and it was very difficult to pick just one design, as you can see by the scores. It's time to select a charity, Martin. Who should receive the donation from the auction? 
All right, so for my choice of charity, I'm going with the Best Friends Animal Society because their mission is to provide a comfortable life even for the animals that don't get adopted. I mean, I have a pet myself. I recommend anyone who can afford to get a pet to just go and get a pet, but sadly there aren't enough people out there that can do that. So I still prefer for these animals to not get killed at these shelters and have a comfortable life. That's why I'm choosing the Best Friends Animal Society. And now, as a bonus, we have some exciting news to share with all the PC gamers out there waiting for official Cyberpunk 2077 system requirements. Without further ado, here's what you will need to enjoy the game. Thank you to all the participants who submitted their designs, thank you to our partners who helped us organize this contest, and thank you all for tuning in. See you in Night City on November 19th.